Hello, my name's Lindy Cowling and welcome to my video. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk My email is info at lindycowling.co.uk And the title of the video this evening is The woven grid. The woven grid. So, anyone who's ever watched any of my videos before will know that I like to speak from personal living human experience. So, I speak from my own experience and also through the experiences of working with my clients and so I like to speak from an experiential standpoint. When I'm doing this I'm sharing from my own embodiment, I'm sharing from like I say my own experience but I'm also tapping into my heart energy, the heart energy, which is source energy. So that overlaps with the experience, but it also overlaps with the knowing. And if you were to say to me, in some ways, is it a form of channeling? Yeah, in some ways it is a form of channeling, but it's different from the channeling I do as a psychic medium clairvoyant. It's not that kind of channeling. I'm not tapping in and listening outside of me. It's coming directly from uh, my heart, so it's coming through in a different way. So, for example, many people speak in this fashion and when they do, they have really no idea of what's going to come out of their mouth next. Um, when I say that, when I come on here, you know, I have a fair idea of the title and maybe about a minute's worth of material, but that's it, until I get on here. The way I work um, when I'm working this way is why I often speak quite slowly is because it gives my, because I don't know what's going to come out, it gives gives a few seconds for, for this part of me to catch up, you know, before it comes out of my mouth, so to speak. I always say it kind of comes up and comes out. Um, or comes up from the heart and comes out. Anyway, enough waffling. Um, weaving the grid, or the woven grid. I think this is probably the first video out of all the videos that I've done that I've spoken really about the grid because I haven't had until recently much direct experience of working with the grid energy both within and outside of me. That's not to say I haven't been aware of it for a number of years, but I like to speak on camera from direct experience. So, although I might reference other people's work, some, very rarely I will re reference their written work, but usually I'll reference their work in terms of film, i.e. what I've seen videos of theirs or TV interviews or radio shows of theirs, for example. I don't quote directly from other people and I don't quote directly from their books. I just prefer, for me, my way of working, I prefer to work this way. So I will reference other people because I think there's some, gosh, there's some amazing people out there doing some amazing stuff, which I really resonate with. But I, I don't sit and quote... Um, from actual material and for me the way I work is I don't write
write down what I'm getting, I get it as I'm on camera. So I don't get um, an upload or a download before I get on here. I get a sense of the feeling of it. It's a bit like when... Um, it's different to the mediumship, but in mediumship, when you go out on platform, that means um, you go out on a stage in front of, of, you know, a hall full of people. And you have no idea what's going to happen next because you just work, spirit works through you. And so you don't know until you're up there what links you're going to make, who you're going to connect with. You don't really have any forewarning. And uh, it's a great... Um, it's a great way of learning how to trust really quickly because when you're in that position you might have a hundred people sitting in there or more in a room and you have no idea what's going to happen next till that, that kicks in. You really do have to trust that you're not going to fall on your on your arse basically. Um, I've got used to working that way. This is not like mediumship. I'm not connecting with people that have passed over in that in that sense at all here. This is connecting in in a different way, in with heart energy in a different way. I'm not saying mediumship doesn't work with the heart. There are many mediums that work with the heart. There are many that don't, um, but there are many that do. But this is just slightly different when you're working this way. Um, so I've waffled enough there. Uh, I'm just trying to explain that. So for me, uh, work being aware really of the grid energy has been a long-term thing but actually working with it has been very recent in a matter of uh, months really uh, both physically going out and doing some stuff and also having knowing and awareness within uh, where I'm going to start with this is through my own experience and own awareness, I've realised that there's a direct correlation between the inner grid and the outer grid. What do I mean when I say grid? It's a, it's a network of, well actually another way of putting it would be saying it's like a net over the planet Earth. You know, it crisscrosses, it joins, there's certain grid points, there's certain overlaps. So you could say it was like a net of interwoven lines and intersections um, above the planet Earth. Now, somebody else might describe it in a different way. That's how I see it clairvoyantly. That's how I see it in my, what I call in my mind's eye with my third eye. And there's been for a... Uh, numerous years an old grid some people would use different words for that I'm going to still call it a grid other people will call it something else like they might call it the matrix but I'm going to use my words and my experience of it so I'm going to say there's been an old structure an old grid in place that millions have been and are still hooked into to a certain degree uh, hooked into a very linear basic network really which hasn't really served humanity to the best of its ability and I'm not going to go into where that grid originally came from or who put it there because to be quite honest, I don't have that awareness. I don't speak on anything that I am not directly aware of or experiencing. I can't answer that for you, and I'm sure there's a million theories out there. What I can tell you is when the shifts are made within us and that level of awareness comes within where your own perception and your own vibration and frequency has got to a rate where the the inner grid within changes, it's able to match this outer new grid. So there's been an old grid for a very long time, you know, for a long time through history. And now there's a new one in place. And I, I am aware of the new one in place. And I'm aware of the old one coming down. 
and I've seen with my third eye the old one coming down. For me, how I see it would maybe be different to other people, um, or maybe it's the same as other people, I don't know. So I see it like um, a greenhouse um, glass roof. When I say glass, I think it's more, um, it's because it's completely transparent, but to me it looks like glass because it shatters, it shatters, and I see lines, crisscrossing lines, you know, going across, the whole lot coming down. And I feel like when that is coming down, which is coming down because the new one is actually in place, that for people whose awareness is such and their vibration is such that their inner evolution is such that they can tap into this, there's a process it's, um, of coming out of that old grid awareness within them and linking in directly to the new one and as they come out of the old one it to be quite honest it seems like a lot of their their world their physical idea of the world falls apart again you know I can tie this in with death rebirth um, the resurrection uh, you know you're coming out of one it's not even perception of the world. You're stepping into a new version of yourself and a new version of the world. I didn't even, um, I didn't have the direct awareness on this or the direct knowing on this. It was only a matter of weeks that I've had that movement within me and then awareness outside. That's the way it's gone. The There's been a shift within me which has been enormously challenging because once again huge swathes of my physical life are having to change and have had to change and and we to completely leave that um, that grid and be online if you like with the new with the new one. Now if you ask me what this, um, if some people will continue on tapping into that old grid, even though it's come down, my my understanding of this coming from me, and like I say, some people might not agree with that, but I'm just going to have to do it from my perspective, that's all I can do, is say that there will still be many you know, amongst the millions that will go around the same hamster wheel, even habitually, not anything, not even got any perception or awareness of any um, any possibility to tap into the highest. Um, I don't mean highest in I'm judging in that. I mean the their highest frequency and their highest expression. And so they will continue around almost like habitually in the old way, even though there's not there's not the structure. Uh, there to support that now the old grid I mean this is a, another reason why a lot of people are in uh, English terms going off their trolleys um, which means they're really being challenged at the moment um, hugely because they're it's just one challenge after another the, the a whole thing the old things are coming down and people are really being pushed pushed to their limits here because they're trying to cling on to the old ways everything was being done and the, and the old net and the old network the old grid really isn't isn't there and so they're habitually is trying to do the same thing over and over again um you know and there's there's a lot of suffering involved in that <laughs> excuse me because <clears throat> the whole time here because i'm uh talking in a different capacity it's really affecting my my throat chakra here Sometimes it does if I am talking directly through um, from spirit as well. Um, it affects my voice box, uh, which is affecting my voice box a lot, actually, at the moment. <clears throat> Excuse me, it doesn't normally do this in ca on camera this much. So again, it's almost like to illustrate that things are different, uh, things are changing, and we can't really do them the old way we did them because the old way is not there anymore. We might out of habit try and repeat the old way but we find that we, we can't really for long because it gets very difficult then. 
So this new, the new grid, I can only tell you the experience I'm having with it or had with it, and I do know that it's a minimum Christ level consciousness. I've known that for some time, and that I've known that for a number of months. Um, I can tell you that it's interwoven. I, I keep wanting to use the words weaving and woven. It's interwoven with the crystalline um awareness and crystalline energy and i can tell you that there are a number of the word i want to use as benefits to being part of this grid and i'm really drawn to say that it's not that we tap into this grid we are part of this grid so if i use the word weaving again we're woven in with it. We're like um, one of the stitches or one of the threads in it. It's all part of the same tapestry, if you like. I can tell you that there are going to be enormous steps forward for humanity and mankind once they're moving into this grid. You know, at the moment, it's very new, that awareness within us and outside of us. But soon the thousands that are beginning to do this will be turning into millions across the planet. And I know it's not only a, just a different way of being and perceiving, but there, there are going to be huge benefits for us as a species. And, you know, we've already started to see that there are other... I'll call them races, but other beings that can also connect with the purity and the heart side of this grid. I mean, this is something I really want to say on camera as well. Um, I'm often asked, and for some time now, I, I've been very aware and very wary of and very discerning of uh, randomly tapping into things like you know just tapping in via light and sending loads of light to a particular situation simply because I'm aware there's so that there's been so much misuse of that old grid by by many different quarters and misdirection of well-placed well-meaning energy has been misdirected and you know we're tapping into that the old system is very much the old light programs and stuff like that, which uh, once once this this adjustment has been made, which has been made, the adjustment has to be made within you. I mean, uh, the adjustment has to be made within you to be part of that grid. Otherwise, you're you're trying to run a thousand watts for a sixty watt light bulb. You know, so you're going to blow basically. Uh, once, once that adjustment's made within within you, then like I say, it's it's a very different. It's everything's different. It's a different perception. It's a it's a huge cosmic awareness, really. Um, it's that collective consciousness awareness. Also, you know, it's it's all it's all interwoven. <clears throat> that word again. And as part of this. It's, it's a very new thing um, for me to say, but also other, other beings and other creatures seem to show themselves um, in connection with that, you know, a very feline um, race of being. They look very lion-like, cat-like. Um, whales, stingrays and dolphins that are non-physical but presenting as crystalline i mean all this seems to be interwoven and interplaying with it and it's all linked with the heart where i have full trust if you like in it is i know it's 100 percent heart it's i don't it's always the 100 percent that purity of the feeling with me that i i go by always every time and so it's uh, because there are other, as there have always been, other um, beings around that 
aren't coming from there and masquerade as such but you wouldn't you don't get them at this interplay of energy that's back in the old the old light program and tapping into that you know the control programs and manipulation energies it's not at this this level of the grid that's now there so it's really exciting and I mean I'm seeing other people stepping into that energy uh, I'm seeing it personally in clients when they step into it we could call it the new energy again in whatever in their personal lives in relationships in work you know whatever area of their life their energy is squeaky clean very new it's like a clean slate I call it the I'm not religious but I call it the Adam and Eve scenario where suddenly it's like they've just been born it's a clean slate it's a whole different level they're in the level of creation they're in the energy of creation that really throws people when I try and explain that um, you know say well this is you're you're in the level of creation now you, you, you know what, what do you want to create because it feels very different the timelines are very different because they in some ways they haven't created what comes next yet so it's all squeaky new like they've just been been born um, slightly going off subject here before I close this video is also as part of that step when that step has been made within you you can also relinquish and detach yourself from and be detached from your role of cleaning the ancestral family bloodline and also relinquish you know being involved in certain archetypal energy if it is your personal choice if you are at that stage where you wish to make that choice there's that free will element again and if you decide it's or you know spirit decide you know it's detrimental to your further spiritual growth so not everybody will make them choices and sorry my throat shack was going crazy and it's also it seems to be at this level where you you weren't even aware there was a choice I wasn't aware three or four months ago that there was a choice but now I know so, so I've changed as well that there is a choice now that's so I've changed within um, as well so I know that there is a choice now but that we don't have to do that any longer I don't mean in a selfish way we've been doing it for like generations um, we we can relinquish that once you get to a certain stage it's like a certain code or certain something and changes is unlocked then you know you don't have to do that anymore <clears throat> you don't have to do that anymore I'm so sorry for, my throat is just going um crazy it's very rare for it to to do this um, very occasionally it does when I say my voice box has been played around with so I know I'm covering a lot of things there in a quite a short video really but I just like uh, I was quite excited to bring this one out because I like to talk about things as they are occurring or just after they've occurred really and like I say, I like to talk from experience. And again, I think the bottom line I'm going to say again, I mean, this is a, a message I've repeated over and over again in videos. I, I think again, certainly from my own point of view and from everybody else you know, that I work with point of view, never has it been more relevant and prevalent really to just be who you are that sounds so simple and actually it is so simple and yet us as human beings make it so darn complicated to show that and be that because there's just so much junk attributed to us by everybody else the really the smoothest and fastest path really to your self and to your own moving forward is is really that simple line it, it it is simple and yet i know from the human experience that many people will put a lot of junk and a judgment on you and program on you and try and control you and 
you know, I know that. And uh, that's especially difficult when you try and extricate yourself from uh, blood family or, you know, situations like that, for example, where they have, you know, had a lifetime to work on you, so to speak. So I know the challenges, you know, that that brings. It's all part and parcel of this inner awareness and this inner shift into this grid that is now not only there, but we are part of it. And I mean, there's been people doing work to this end for a number of years, actually. Um, you know, working gateways and portals and um, it's only been recently that I've had involvement in that which was pretty mind-blowing with a dear um, friend and colleague of mine. I won't go into details on that but that was very much um, gateway portal and all sorts of things so there are some amazing things happening and amazing possibilities and potentials for us here and there's no separation between what I'm talking about and and the heart none none I can confidently say that no one on this planet is able to access the grid within and the grid without without going via their heart they can't access it they can access things that seem similar and not have any awareness it's similar they can tap into light programs which are manipulated or non-manipulated they can tap into many things that purport to be that but they cannot tap into that genuine energy unless the shift has been made within them uh, so within so without again and on that note I'm going to love you and leave you so weavers of the grid, we are the grid, we're woven into the grid, we, we are it, one and the same. And uh, like I say, amazing times for humanity because now it's here, it's here, it ain't going anywhere. And so there's a, an amazing times to um, come, God, I'm getting so much irritation here, like I'm getting tickles here now. It's like being in a blooming circle environment all around this area. Next, I better get off camera before I morph. <laughs> morph into uh, just whoop, morph on camera. Oh God, now I'm saying that now I'm tickly face. Um, on that note, I will love you and leave you. I hope you guys are keeping well. I know January was one hell of a baptism of fire for many people myself included this is a year that a year that's taking no prisoners you know you are you are in your truth or you're not in your truth there's no middle ground and anything that's not the truth is just coming away very very quickly falling away so uh you know i know some of you are having a bit of a bumpy ride just hang on in there on that note i will love you and leave you um take care I have got a couple of videos in mind I'd like to do but um, I have this system of filming at the moment where it takes forever and a day to upload them and it's quite involved so um, it'll be down to timing but I do plan to bring another couple out fairly quickly I hope uh, because once I get knowing or input on things I really am quite driven to talk about it one way or another whether it's on radio um, or whether it's on on camera so while I have that that buzz and that impetus I like to do that but we'll see there's a couple I'd like to bring out but we'll see we'll see how how the time goes right on that note I will love you and leave you do take care of yourselves uh, get plenty of rest if you can plenty of sleep if you can get into nature if you can get by the sea and rivers if you can and just stay true to your heart Love you guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.